So today we'll demonstrate uh, how to connect Jenkins with Bitbucket via webhook. So first, uh, after we install Jenkins and uh, run the instance, uh, it opens up a, a local host on port 8080. Now you want to click on your username here in the passive, which you have set up. And after you log in, uh, I just want to show you in case you've forgotten your, your username, you want to go to Jenkins users and you want to cut the user's XML file. So you can find your uh, credentials, actually your username uh, in this file. So we're going to create a pipeline. We're going to uh, go on dashboards, select new item, and we're going to name this pipeline YouTube tutorial. We're going to click on it and select OK. Now the relevant thing here for connecting it uh, with uh, Bitbucket is to check this trigger built remotely and to set a token, which will be in our case YouTube token. You can pick any value you want. After you successfully done that, uh, I've already created a sample, uh, sample Jenkins file, which actually describes all stages, no logic uh, involved. We just have some scripts file, uh, which will represent the steps, the stages. I'm just gonna copy and paste this and uh, click on save. After that, what you wanna do is, you wanna go to your uh, user username uh, tab here. You wanna click on configure and you wanna add a new token because this will serve as a password for our uh, Jenkins route so that we can access it actually. So I'm gonna type here YouTube token, just give it a sample name and click on generate. Okay, I'm gonna copy it now to my text, uh, text file. And now, uh, once you're successfully done with that, click on save and let's go to our bit bucket. In our bit bucket, I'll be using Start Coffee uh, BE backend repository, and I have repository settings here. And under the workflow, you can select webhooks. Now we're gonna add a webhook. Just give it an appropriate name, YouTube webhook. And the URL is gonna be, of course, we wanna ensure that it's uh, runs on HTTPS. And now we want to specify our credentials, which is Eugene Sunik in my case, which was shown in the XML file, uh, delimited by a colon. And now let's insert the token or the secret. And now use a delimiter, which is a monkey sign. And now you want to you wanna write your DNS here. So for that purpose, we're going to use ng-rock which will actually uh, allow uh, port and domain forwarding for our local host. So basically we'll have our local host 8080 on, uh, on, the, double, uh, on the World Wide Web. So let's use ngrock http 8080 command to actually publish this local instance on the www. And now I'll pick the DNS here. I will insert it over here instead of uh, on this placeholder. And now you want to go back to Jenkins. You want to go to your dashboards. You can see the YouTube tutorial one. And you want to configure it. So now once we've opened the YouTube tutorial pipeline, you want to pick this route here. So job YouTube tutorial build token and the token and the value of the token. So I'm going to place it here. And the token name is YouTube token as set in Jenkins. Now I want to uh, run this on events such as created, updated, approved, and approval removed because I already have a pull request set up. And let's save this. The webhook is created. Let's check if this uh, public instance can be accessed. So visit site. Okay, and it, it's indeed on uh, the triple W. So now let's try and trigger a Jenkins, the Jenkins pipeline. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go to my start coffee backend. As I said, I've got a pull request open. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna unapprove it. So let's see if this triggered, triggers the job. And as you can see, pending over here. So now we've successfully triggered a job via an action on Bitbucket.